Hey guys, how's it going? So in today's video, I wanna talk about Biotone Starter Fertilizer. This is what the bag looks like. Um, it's actually Biotone Starter Plus. Uh, you might recognize this bag if you've been watching our videos because I use it almost every single time I plant something new in the ground, but I've never really talked about it in detail, like what's in it and how it works. And I always find that kind of thing interesting to learn about. So I hope that you guys are interested in this. We recently did put up a video about how we fertilize annuals. Like I showed you our setup with the water tank and then talked about what fertilizer I use and how often I use it. Um, and you guys seem to like it. So I thought it would be fun to do this video. It probably won't be very long, um, but how I wanna structure it is just by answering questions and hopefully I hit on the questions you guys have. Before I get into any of the questions though, I did want to mention that a lot of this is based on my personal experience with Biotone and what I've learned kind of growing up in the industry. I've been using it in my garden for lots of years and so have my parents and we have really great luck with it. So I just wanted to put that out there. So question number one is what makes Biotone a good starter fertilizer? So we'll throw an ingredient list up on the screen if you wanna check that out. There are some things that I like to look for, you know, um, percentages of nitrogen and potash and phosphorus and calcium and other things. I also like to see what my fertilizer has been derived from. Um, and there's usually other things on that list that don't make a whole lot of sense to most of us. And so I'll explain a little bit more of that. But what I like the best about this starter fertilizer is that it has a lot of microbes and mycorrhizae in it, um, which you may have heard both of those words before, but what microbes are are a beneficial bacteria that help break down the plant food faster and make it more available to your plants quicker, which is so important in the first year of your plant's life, especially. So this has 50% more microbes than like your maintenance type fertilizers, like your plant tone and holly tone that you will use in the consecutive years after the first year of your plant's growth. And then you have the mycorrhizae, which are a naturally grown fungi, and they bring balance back to the soil in a really sustainable way. So what they do is they create a symbiotic relationship by colonizing with the roots of your plant. So let me kind of explain this, like using my pinky as an example, like pretend that's a root. So so usually each root has one point of entry for nutrients and moisture. What the mycorrhizae do is they come along and they colonize all along the roots and they create multiple openings, multiple channels for moisture and nutrients to enter. And think like hundreds and thousands of points of entry instead of just that one. So of course, the more nutrients and moisture your plants get, the quicker they'll grow, the quicker their root mass grows. Um, and it helps them reduce, like it reduces transplant shock and it also helps really with anything you can measure. You can see more foliar growth and more blooms, um, bigger blooms, it just helps in so many ways. And then to break it down even further, there are several types of mycorrhizae. And this fertilizer in particular has two different kinds. There's both ectomycorrhizae and endomycorrhizae. So ectomycorrhizae actually colonize with uh, fir, spruce, and pine mostly on their roots, and they form on the outside of the roots. And then the endomycorrhizae are for pretty much all the other plants, and they actually become part of the root system. However, there is one very small group of plants called ericaceous plants that require a very specific type of mycorrhizae that's not in this fertilizer, but it's a type that has a very short shelf life, so you'd need a very specific specialized product. A couple of those plants that I recognize on the list are blueberries, azaleas, rhododendrons, camellias. I can't even grow most of those in my area. And then there were a couple of more, a couple more on the list that I didn't even recognize. So anyway, microbes that are in the biotone are still really good for helping build root mass in those type of plants. So it's still a good fertilizer to use. Question two is if I'm planting a tree or a rose or a shrub, why would I use biotone starter fertilizer instead of something geared more specifically to that type of plant? like a rose tone or a tree tone or holly tone. And the reason for that is because those more maintenance type of fertilizers do not contain mycorrhizae and it's unnecessary for them to have it because mycorrhizae only works when it makes physical contact with the roots of your plants. And when we're applying those maintenance fertilizers, most of the time we're just sprinkling them either on the soil surface or even just lightly scratching them in and they're not actually going really deep down and touching the roots of the plants. So for more maintenance type fertilizers, after your plants established, they really don't need mycorrhizae necessarily to create more root system because they're established plants and at that point we want those more specialized fertilizers to create something more beautiful on top like to focus on more foliage growth or bigger blooms and that sort of thing the last thing I want to address is not actually a question but it's a claim I think I saw on their website that it says it's an all-natural organic fertilizer with no sludges or fillers so I really wanted to talk about what sludges and fillers are so for your typical synthetic fertilizer they take a really nutrient dense material like a triple phosphate or a urea and they blend them down into a much lower 
lower analysis so it's safer for your plants using some type of filler. Um, and there's few things that they use as fillers. The first is sand. Um, it's a very common filler. I think the most common though is a type of lime. It's called chip lime, which actually doesn't really affect the pH of your soil because that's what I would be worried about most. Um, the reason why they use that is because the size of prill or pellet of the lime oftentimes is about the same size as the pellet of the fertilizer or the material, the other material in it. So it, very, it blends really well and spreads nicely. And the last thing that's commonly used as a filler is called sludge which is actually pretty gross. Uh, Espoma doesn't use any of this. I think they're pretty proud of it, and I probably would be too. But sludge is another name for material that comes from like municipal waste or wastewater treatment from sewage facilities. Gross. I mean, I guess they have a process that renders it safe, like a cleaning process, but you don't know. Like it can, can't ever be labeled for organic gardening because you don't know from time to time what's in there because you have no idea what's going through those type of systems on any given day. So they don't have any of that in their fertilizer, which I very much appreciate. So that's pretty much it, you guys, on this Biotone fertilizer. I just thought it might be interesting to you. I really wanted to talk about the microbes and mycorrhizae in particular, because I think they're so important to our plant's root system, especially that first year. We want their roots to grow really quickly, establish faster so we have more success, and I've had such great luck with it. It's been one of those things, like I said, I've been using for years, my parents have been using, um, and then you know, we started this uh, YouTube channel and then after a while we started working with Espoma, which was so great because I was already using their stuff and liked it so much. So I highly recommend that you try this. You can find it pretty much everywhere. I mean, it's at any garden center pretty much that I've ever been at. So that's it. Thank you for watching. Hope this is interesting and or helpful and we will see you in the next video. Bye.